Editing, cloning and modifying drawings in version 18. You can add a shaded 3D view for better representation. Repositioning of views is now shown live, updated as you move them. Move, edit and place objects like dimensions and marks where you want them, even outside the view area. The drawing objects are now visible when moving them, no longer ghosted. The view frame will now expand when you place an object outside of the frame. You can also now center the view labels by the parts in the view or by the view frame. Or reposition the view labels by dragging and dropping the node. You can add custom annotations that Tecla can clone for the next drawing. And exaggerate dimensions to make the drawing easier to read. You can then use your first drawing to clone from when producing others. The clone drawing will use the same layout and drawing appearance for the selected assemblies, even if the assemblies are quite different to each other. resulting in significantly quicker drawing production and editing. I'm now going to revise the model by raising the roof level by one meter. Then we can use the number modified objects only, which is considerably quicker for numbering larger models than the previous full numbering. Then update the modified drawings. A freeze is no longer needed. Changes are automatically highlighted to the user. Sections are now displayed in all views and can be manipulated by the drag and drop function.
You can create a contour plate by using auto snapping orthogonal dimensions. And you can adjust its properties with ease using the mini toolbar. And by using the right click modify, you can easily manipulate the plate shape and add nodes. You can adjust setout dimensions using A for absolute or R for relative. You can also stretch edges to new positions. And move the objects about using the orthogonal snap. You can now create U-bolts using the custom component, or in later versions of Tecla, this U-bolt option is included in all base plates. You can also use the base plate 1047 for corner L-shaped base plates. We have a pre-save setting as an example for these L-shaped base plates that you can load. You can adjust them if needed depending on the column size. By holding CTRL and pressing 5 in the model, it will now go to the steelwork that's not selected, and SHIFT and 5 will do the same inside components. To hide objects from the view, select them, right click, hold SHIFT and then click HIDE. You can also choose the SHOW ONLY selected objects by following the same steps with that right click option. Using the scissors toolbar button, you can create cut planes to simplify what you're modelling in the view. Also, the bolt size check object representation shows different size bolts in different colours. and the grade check will show different steel grades in different colours. We've also created a loose parts filter which shows secondary parts that are not connected. You can now connect or weld these up as they should be. The subassembly hierarchy check shows different levels of subassemblies in different colours. The new clash check manager now lets you easily zoom into the clashes. And with the full license, or any license from version 19 onwards, you can assign a status to each clash. By simply updating drawings, we can prepare for a drawing creation check.
and by running this report it lets us see any members that don't have drawings created. When selected, the members without drawings will highlight in the model. And those selected members, you can now easily produce drawings for. A range of well-presented Excel reports have been added for your use for the common Tecla reports. And opening them with the associated viewer lets you see them in Excel and check once created. For more information on anything you've seen, please contact us at Pacific Computing.